Okay, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of CSS uh, using Code Academy. So what I want you to do is, if you haven't done so, just go to your search bar and type in HTML Basics Code Academy. Go to the first link. And go back to HTML CSS here. And just scroll down where it says CSS and Overview. All right, the page is basically just some HTML uh, with some CSS put in. Um, all this is saying is it's saying uh, remove the comment from around the link tag on line four. So line four is right there. And then it just says remove the comment, which I already did. And then click submit code. If you were to click the style sheet, this is actual the CSS what's going on. We're not <laughs> going to go through all this right now. See if I remove that comment. Let's see. Looks like I did. Remove the comment from around the link tag on line four. Then view the result. All right. So we did. There you go. Okay. What is CSS? Well, what they're saying here is go to stylesheet.css tab, go to index.html, and uh, we'll put CSS to make the paragraph tag red. So what we're going to do here is go to the style sheet. So this, this code right here makes the color of the text red. You can make the color of text blue here if you'd like. You know, it'll be blue. And we could write our own CSS here. We could do that if we'd like. And it says, uh, well, you'll need to add CSS that'll make the text between the span tags blue. So we're going to go col color. Blue. Put your color red. <clears throat> so what's happening is you have a P selector, P tag, and the color of the text, and that is going to be red. And you have a span tag, and the color is going to be blue. If you look at HTML, okay, with it in here in this span tag, it's blue. And then the P tag, it's red, but this overwrites that one. And that's all. Okay. Now they want us to go to our style sheet and go to the span selector, and you want to, you want to put font family cursive. So, here... You want to put font, family, cursive. We notice that this is now cursive. Okay. And you can do stuff like inline styles. This is what we've been doing in class, where we put P and then style equals color red. It's called an inline style. So what they want you to do is just basically just hit save and continue. Okay. Really, not much to do here. All right. Insert a link in the style sheet, and uh, insert a link tag to stylesheet.css and index.html. So what we want to do is we basically want to link it to. If you look at this, uh, right here. This will copy, right click copy, <clears throat> go to here, let me see where it was here, Oops. you'll notice that it's uh, right under the head. So we go right here, and this will link it up, that's it. Okay. That's all. If you go here, it changes the font family to 44. That's all it does. So without this link, without this link to the style sheet right here, this doesn't do anything. So you just know that that links um, your HTML file to your style sheet.
We'll notice here there are different link types. And they're relative. Or you could actually link. It's similar to how you would link an image from a website. So again, we're just going to go ahead and submit this. All right. Here's what you do. You put your selector, for example, the P tag, and then the property. Another example would be color. And the value for a color could be blue, green, whatever. You could format the, let's see, the span tag. And you could change the font family to cursive, like we did before as well. So a lot of different things you could do. What they want you to do is they want you to open the style sheet here tab and make the font color of the P selector green. So open this up. So we need a P selector. And we're going to put font color, change color, green. And that's it. Now if we look, the font is green. So it's pretty easy. All right. Next thing they want you to do is underneath your color green property value, but before the final, set the font family to Garmin. So let's go ahead and copy that. Right click copy. And we're going to go to our CSS. And put font family to that. And then they want you to put the font size to 24. So font size 24. And you can tell this updates automatically. And there you go. That's all you do. So you've written your first CSS rule. You formatted the P tag. So the text is green, the font family is Garmin, and the font size is 24. All right. Now they want you to make all three head all H3 headings red. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to put a, our selector, H3. And they want you to put the first set is make all the headings red. So color, red. And then set all, make another rule, set all paragraphs to courier font family. So P font family courier. And the last rule they want you to write is set the span background to yellow. You'll notice that those now turn yellow. Just so you know, span isn't an HTML. Um, that's more of a CSS tag. You wouldn't really use that too much with just simple HTML. So there you go. You turn that red, turn this yellow, and you're done. We'll do two more and then I'll take a break. Okay, select the CSS where we added the P selector and comment that out. CSS we've added for the P selector. And remember to comment that out, you put a slash and star, and then a star and a slash. And there you go. Notice it gets rid of it. So that's how you, you do a, it's called the block comment. Pretty easy stuff. All right, we'll do last one, then we'll do another video. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's funny. Okay. Add a link to the stylesheet.css between your head tags. So remember how to do this. We're going to go back to the second one. Or there. Copy this. Go to the one we're currently working on. Paste it. And then what we want to do is in the H1, 
of the headers font family, put Rhonda. So we're going to put h1 font family Rhonda. And then it wants you to change the h3 headers font family to courier. So we'll go ahead and make our selector h3 font family courier. Spell it. All right. And then it wants you to make the paragraph text purple. So we're going to put our P selector. And our color purple. There you go. And this is add a CSS comment to the CSS tab and say anything you'd like. So we'll go ahead and do that. This is a demo of CSS. And there you go. Uh, I just misspelled that. did. For some reason it's not agreeing with me. Okay. Goes for another minute. So it says change the H1 headers font family to Veranda. Yep, we did that. Oh, the Veranda has to be capitalized. So I'm going to copy this. And just go ahead and paste it. There you go. When it turns orange, you know you did it right. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with Courier. Copy that. Come in here. And paste it. There you go. So, no big deal. I'm going to stop the video now and we'll go ahead and do the final part.